In this lesson, we'll talk about elapsed time. So we want to know what time will it be two hours past eight o'clock. So I'm going to start at eight o'clock. So here's eight o'clock. Okay. Two hours past eight o'clock. So an hour, we're going to move counterclockwise, I'm sorry, clockwise one hour, which means the minute hand will go all the way around. Okay. One hour past eight o'clock is now nine o'clock. Okay. But we want two hours past. So the minute hand has to go all the way around again. And now it is 10 o'clock. So two hours past eight o'clock is 10 o'clock. Okay. And when we're going past something, we go clockwise. This one is what is three hours before seven o'clock. So what time was it three hours before seven o'clock? And in this case, we're actually going to go counterclockwise. Okay. So we'll start at seven o'clock. So there's seven o'clock three hours before we're going to go backwards or counterclockwise three hours. So the minute hand goes around one time, one time would be six, one hour before is six o'clock. Another hour before counterclockwise is five o'clock and one more hour before is four o'clock. So three hours before seven is four o'clock. So if you want to know how many hours past something, you go clockwise. If you want to know before, you go counterclockwise. That's the end of our lesson on elapsed time.